straight in I'm going to make the body so you want to take a strip of your cardi ball and just roll it up a little mousy and he's going to be keeping an eye on what I'm doing and just switched to a three needle uh, tool just to speed things up a little bit looking at this I can tell that I need to add some more wool on this section here so I'm going to do that now and I'll just wrap that around and needle flat that on cover any noticeable joints if you want to just using a little bit more of the cardi ball and needle felt that over and I'm needle felting the back so that it's curved around and I'm going to needle felt through the front middle section here just to create a sort of kidney bean shape Next I'm needle felting down the front section here where the head is going to rest so that it's a little flatter and also tapering down the back end. I'm happy with the body shape so I'm going to put that aside and start making the head. I'm going to cut my pipe cleaner to length including the bent over end so just to measure here doesn't have to be exact. It's easy to make the snout a bit too long so I'm measuring against that just to know how much wool that I want to wrap around the nose area. Take a thin strip and wrap that round. Next, I'm building up the top head area section. Not going onto the nose area anymore just yet. And I can tell that I need to build up the nose a little more and also the head. So building up the nose a bit more first. We always like to start off with less wool and build up more if needed. The snout area felted in here. Create a bit more height to the top of the head section. For the extra height to the head, I'm going to needle felt an extra piece of wool. And just sort of roll that up. And then you can position that like so, which is also going to build up the sort of the, the eye area. So needle felt that just around the front of the head and onto the top of the head. And I'm adding a little bit more in this section, but you can build up the head any way you want to. This is just how I'm doing it. This section. Okay, I decided I want to cut this piece of pipe cleaner out here. So if you just push down so that it protrudes up and then you can just snip that out. 
really hard to show on camera, but it's this actually now, I'm really happy with the shape. It fits perfectly into both the side view and the bird's eye view of my head stencil. But I want to cover this visible join here and also just kind of, that will help um, just broaden this section just a tiny bit. So I'm going to cover that using a little bit more of my carded wool. Keeping this area of the snout thinner. So I'm not going to put any on that, just this join here. You want the top side sections to smooth around, sort of like this. So I need to add a little bit more wool around this area, just on that side so that it matches that one. Oh, needle felt that on. And a little tiny bit more wool smoothed over that just to blend that all in. There we go, so it kind of looks a bit like, when you look at this angle, like a light bulb I suppose. Next I want to work out the eye position. If you're just needle felting little sleeping eyes, then you can do that just by needle felting little black strips of wool. I'll show you what I mean by that later. For now I want to show you how to sew in the little black eyes. So I want to try and find a nice even eye position. So needle felting, I'm just going to do a line down the middle front of the head, like this. So you don't want the eyes too high up, you want to kind of be in line with the nose like this. And then the other eye. Like so. so if you're just needle felting in the sleeping eyes, what you can do is just needle felt the sort of eye socket area like this either side just to get the detail and then using a little bit of the brown carded wool just want to roll that like this and then you could just needle felt little sleeping eyes It all depends what you want to do, but they can just go across like this. So something like that. So it all depends what you want to do, but I'm going to show you how to sew in the eyes. Let's take that up. I'm refinding my eye position as I lost it. So about there. And then I'm just literally going to sew my bead in down through the back of the neck. Put it quite tight, like so. And then I'm going to go back up and I'm going to sew back through the bead. And so it really goes into the head like this. And then back down again and sign off underneath the head with a blanket stitch. Then if you pull your stitch back into the wall like this, and you can just carefully drag over the wall and needle felt to conceal any stitches. So my eyes are nicely sewn in and just redefining this line down the front here. Because I've used quite a lot of wool and I've needle felted quite firmly, I'm able to pull some of this forwards. Just I'm going to zoom in so you can see what I'm doing. And I'm going to pull that literally over the bead like this. So the eyelid just comes over the bead. And do the same the other side. So just carefully pulling eyelid over the eye. This is optional but I'm going to needle felt just a little bit of dark brown wool underneath the eye top eyelid. This expression on the eyes. You don't need much wool at all. 
So needle felting this corner up like this. I'm using some dark brown wool to make a little nose. And then needle felt the bottom point in to the middle section of the snout top area like this. And then once you've got your position, you can just bend like that and needle felt the bottom point together and needle felt the nostrils. So just drag like this to shape it. Right, so now the nose is in, I like to needle felt this section thinner on the side so that it goes sort of in dips in here. This just gives a nice sort of bit of realism I think. And the other side as well. And you can use your fingers to pinch that together to shape it. You may wish to do this before you needle felt the nose on. I just tend to do it after but it's up to you whatever you find is easier. Now we just needle felt the mouth on, so for that I'm using a tiny bit of wool but you could sew the mouth in if you prefer to, just with a couple of stitches. Like this. I thought he looked a bit too happy for me because he's a sad little puppy so I've carefully removed that bit there and then like this. So that's lower, lower down and keeping the sort of cheeks lower like that. So that's one side. So I'm going to make this side lower as well. Poor little puppy. He hasn't found his owner yet. So he's sad. There we go. I'm going to put the head aside now and start making the legs. Thank you very much. I'm measuring all my pipe cleaner pieces for the legs, the back legs, front legs and the tail. Just wrap our front legs. Just roll firmly in between the palms of your hands. And then you can always needle felt on a little more wool if you need to. And just needle felt around the paw to shape it. I kind of like the paws to be a bit flat like this. So my front legs, now I'm going to make the back legs. The um, top back leg, once you've got this bent the shape, you need to just build up the thigh area, which is this bit. And then we're just going to attach that to our body here, so towards the back section, like this. And make sure that the little foot can touch the floor, so something like that. And needle felt that on. Once that's anchored in place, you can just cover the join with a bit more of your chosen coloured carded wool. And needle felt that on, and that will also secure the leg nicely in place. I've rolled up a bit more wool here to the size roughly that I want, and I'm going to needle felt that flat. And then position that over the top. So don't go too low down. You want his leg to sort of gradually go into this thigh shape. And then just needle felt that on. And just spend a bit of time shaping that thigh area around and then again
again, if you need to cover any joins, then you can just do that using a little bit more wool. And the back leg's going to go under here, so I'm going to cut that shorter because otherwise he won't balance very well. So cut that like that. Then just find the position. So we want it sort of about there and flip him over. Then just needle felt the top of the leg straight into the base here. And use a bit more of the carded wool to secure the leg in place and cover the join. Wrap the tail. And I'm going to attach the tail now. So that just needs to go just on the very lower back section, sort of to meet the heel like this. And go underneath as well, just so it's really secure. So next, um, I like to work out the sort of front leg position. I kind of like them to start the shoulder area, just about a centimetre gap from the thigh area so that the head can rest um, onto the paws like this um, but it's up to you how you want them that's just how I've sort of made this one so once you've got the position and the head's going to go there then you can needle felt them into place I'm felting a little bit more wool just over that shoulder area. Okay, so now we can attach the other leg. I just line them up like this where you want to. I kind of like the paws joining like that. So line it up and then you can just needle felt that into place. And use a bit more wool to join it. Before I attach the ears, I like to needle felt the head to the body. So you might like to anchor the head on first with a couple of stitches just to keep it where you want it. I think I'm going to have his head sort of at a bit of an angle like this. I'll just show you from this side. Um, so this actually, we're going to fill this gap here to sort of create the neck area. But firstly, you just want to make sure that it is anchored on where you want it. So I'm going to have his head there. So use your felting needle to anchor the base of the head right down into the lower section there of the body, like this. Needle felt that on. Then starting bit by bit, just needle felt some wool through the back lower section of the head into the body like this. And then you can sort of hold his head like this and needle felt right up underneath the sides like this. Not going up onto the face, just around the lower section of the head. So probably best, better to show you from this angle, basically we've filled in all of this section, top section here, just joining the head to the body here and this is creating our little neck. 
Now he's ready for his ears to be attached. Um, so to make those, I'm going to use some wool felt fabric and just using my paper template, just cut out two ears. Next, I want to just needle felt some of the Cardi wool onto the top sections of each ear. Of course, you could just needle felt the shapes of the ears straight from the wool fibre if you prefer to do that, or if you don't have any wool felt fabric on the side. pointed section goes towards the back so this is the front now we attach those on and so we line up but I actually like the ears sort of facing forwards like this so once they're attached you need to sort of just shape them how you want them like that so we're needle felting not onto the top of the head just slightly down just a few millimeters and towards the back of the head so not too far forward And then position the other ear. So it's, I like to line those up on top of the head and look from the front. The last thing I wanted to do was add a little bit of shading to his ears and his coat. And I'm using soft pastel for this in the shade yellow ochre. You could use fabric markers as well on your little puppy or you could make him from different coloured wool so you could use a more yellowy coloured wool if you prefer to. Add a bit more colour to his tail. You could resize and do smaller puppies and do them sleeping the other way. I want to give him a little scarf because it's winter and it's getting cold. I'll just tie that around. That's our little puppy all finished. I really hope you've enjoyed this tutorial and you have lots of fun making your own little felted creations. If you have enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe and we'll see you back here soon.